All right, guys, in this segment, Dennis gives us his thoughts on the travel healthcare industry, where the job market's at and where it's headed. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please like, comment, and subscribe to help grow the channel. Welcome back to another wonderful episode of Rad Talk, where sports and medicine collide. I'm Dennis. And I'm Gage. And we're going to jump right in here, you beautiful people, to um, some travel updates. And so, it's been a while since we talked about some travel, so... Yes, it has. Um, and so the, the markets continue to fluctuate. And I, so the markets have continued to go down. I've had friends that have been taking pay decreases to stay at the same facility, which... Song for you on the world's smallest violin. Which really sucks for the traveler to continue doing the same job, but being told that we're going to then pay you less money. Mm -hmm. Um and typically travelers get paid all I should say all travelers really essentially get paid weekly. And so when you're getting told you're getting paid hundreds of dollars less per week, um, you know, it accounts to your monthly totals a lot less. Um, that's kind of upsetting. Or the latter to me, the latter is to go to another facility. Um, but you know, it's nice when you can stay at one place for at least, you know, six months or, or something like that. And a little extended period of time so you can, can get comfortable at a place or or whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. Also, just another quick aside, make sure that as these rates continue to decline, that people, when if you're accepting a job, that you have a, a, a decent chunk of change, a couple, at least a couple thousand dollars, or, you know, I say probably five thousand dollars or so saved up because when you find the housing, you need to be able to put that deposit down um, and, and, and hold that house for you or hold that rental car or hold that, you know, get that plane ticket. And so if you're quitting, if you're thinking about quitting your full-time job, going into traveling, highly recommend have a little bit saved up for whatever's going to go wrong, will go wrong. Yeah. Um, and, and then once you start that job, then you start getting that, you know, when you're getting paid to do your job, then you can kind of backtrack and hopefully put that nugget back where it needs to go yeah. money financially wise. Um, so I think that's, that's super important tip. I don't know if I've said it, can say that enough. Um, don't, don't just jump into traveling and have like nothing saved yeah. and, and think that you're that's probably, go. that's probably a tip for life. Yeah. 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 Always uh, save. Yeah. Save, save some sort of financials for a rainy day or for whatever, yeah. whatever happens in your life. Experts um, always say like what, three months I've mm -hmm. read somewhere. I think it's three months if you don't have a stable job and then it's closer to like six to nine months if, or excuse me, it's three months if you have a stable job, like you're not ever mm -hmm. going to risk losing your job, which after COVID who knows if that exists. True. But it's even longer if you have a job that's a little more volatile and you could lose it, you know, more yeah, easily. Yeah. So. And and even, you know, and even being let go from various jobs, if I've noticed that um, different hospitals, they've been being able to hire different folks. And so if you they were able to bring somebody in to fill your job and all of a sudden they decide they don't need you, hopefully if it's, if it's a good facility, it'll they'll keep you around for the extent of your their contract that they promised you, yeah. but they don't necessarily have to. And so if they choose, you know, we've hired somebody to fill your role. We don't need you for the you know, six weeks you have left or whatever that is. Um, we're just going to let you go yeah. move along. We wish you the best. And so if you get let go from a job, make sure that you have some money saved up because then you got to, you know, yeah, that's a good point. How, yeah. how quickly it's going to be for you to find your next job. And so there's no, there's nothing secure about anything when it comes to anything truly, but what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But, but when you're working as a traveler, um, it's even less secure yeah. um, on, on various things. So. I was uh, fairly new to traveling in general. You know, before I met you, I didn't. Right. I knew there was um, doctors that would travel. You know, locums, whatever. But it was never. I still don't think it's as big as an industry as like the techs or nurses side mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. So my question to you here is when you first started you started before covid but then the people that started around covid like wasn't this always going to be the outcome like you knew that you knew covid rates couldn't last mm -hmm. whether uh because I don't, for whatever reason they weren't going to last people the uh full timers that were already there were already pissed off that you're they're getting travelers are getting paid way more to do the same job so right. i was kind of curious to hear your thoughts on like you know, wasn't this always the eventual outcome? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I, and I, I think, I don't know if a lot of, I don't know, 
how many people actually knew that, but I feel like I, I knew this was, I know the rates fluctuate. Right. I know things don't always stay the same. I know when I started this, you know, six years ago or however long I've been doing yeah. this now, um, that the rates would, I think when I started, obviously I didn't know that they would continue to, to just rise and rise and rise. Yeah. And, then, and then, you know, and there's crazy things that happen. I remember talking when I first, when I first got into doing sonography, I remember talking to a lady that said she had been a traveler for 10 years and she made all this, you know, all this money said that, you know, there was times when she started, when she took a full-time job, she got a sign on bonus. And yeah. I remember when I started, I was like, it, the economy, how it was, there was like, first off, there was no jobs. You couldn't, yeah. you couldn't find a job. I you know when I, I, I struggled to get work after school. Um, and there, so there definitely was no sign on bonuses. And I remember in my life and thinking like, there's never going to be, I'm never going to be in a spot where a hospital is going to be like, Hey, if you sign here for X amount of years, we're going to give you a bonus. But like that's happening a lot across the country. And so I think that's helping hospitals to probably get, sneak people away from travel. Yeah. Say, hey, stay here for X amount of time. We're going to give you $20,000, $15,000, whatever that money amount is. Mm -hmm. So they're pulling people away that way. But as COVID happened and people said, you know, I don't need to be a part of healthcare right now. I'm going to retire or they're close yeah. to retirement. So we lose these people from retirement. We lose these people from hospitals saying, you know, we don't have enough work for the nurses on this floor. So we're just going to shut down floors because we're not seeing patients aside from you know, the COVID patients, we're not mm -hmm. doing regular routine surgeries. We're not doing all these things. And so they sent a lot of people away. And so some of those people they sent away went and got other occupations, started, you know, learning new things, doing different jobs, going to the internet, whatever it is. Yeah. And so those people left. So you have this huge influx of people. I mean, it, it, it's like, you know, supply and demand. If, if you say all these people are gone, okay. And now we're going to, we need to start over again. COVID's COVID's gone. Like this era has ended everybody just come back and they're like, well, no, we've, we've lost tons of people to different industries yeah. and doing different things. And now we don't have enough people. Supply and demand says, well, okay, we need to pay more people to come back or increase some sort of salaries. And so they try to do that or they try hospitals tried to get away with continuing to pay these crummy salaries to people. And people were like, no. And then these third party companies come in and say, well, we can supply those people, but you're going to pay this. And they, and they say, well, we it's either don't have people or pay this. And so yeah. then the inflation, then you see the huge inflation of prices because what do you, do you go without it, without a, you understaffing your floor with like one nurse or do you pay these ridiculous prices because we have to take care of patients? Yeah. You really, yeah, they didn't really have a choice. So okay. you kind of had to pay the prices, but. And so you have, and so that, and now as you know, and now we've had another, um, more students are continuing to get back in the workforce, which is, it's going to happen. Students graduate yeah. and they pay yeah, yeah. for the workforce. Yeah. And so another year of more students, another, another year of more students, another year of more students. And so you're going to see as more people enter the workforce and plus students are usually willing to take, you know, you pay because they have no experience. They pay them less starting out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, you know, now we're, we're getting a more influx of, of people who can do the job. We're paying them less. So then, then, then that's going to bring the rates back down. Um, to a, a whatever they the market decides to be, they should be. But I mean, if something else, not hopefully COVID or whatever, never happens again, but something will always affect the market to where it changes. It becomes more volatile, and over a, a, maybe a short stint, you might see an increase of pay. Like around, you know, something as simple as Christmas. Um, yeah. You know, travelers or people take vacation times around Christmas. People have get pregnant and so they need to take time away. And so there's going to be, there's travels will always exist in some capacity um, to fill pregnancies, to fill holidays. Cause now you have, you know, even around Christmas time, travelers take times away. Full-time employees want to take vacation time to be with their families. And so you have this influx of people that isn't going to be working there. And so what do we do? We need to bring somebody in for this short period of time to cover these holidays or whatever. And so it'll always exist. And, and around those times you might see an increase in wage in various mm -hmm. places. But yeah. yeah, I guess that was a short up, short, long update. Yeah. on traveling. <laughs> I think the other thing <clears> that another kind of question you could answer is when you started traveling, I'm assuming you, you got paid more to travel than you did for full time. 
for sure. But what what's the point for you? What was the point of traveling? Because I feel like people have lost kind of the point of traveling in that it's not just about the money to make more like you travel because you want to travel, right? You can go to places, stay there for three, six months, enjoy it. Boom. You're gone. You have more freedom as a traveler because you're not tied to one area. Right. But now I think it became a lot about money. And now, mm -hmm. as you just mentioned, you're being asked to take more or less, excuse me, to stay at the same spot, which right. I don't I So I feel like people just kind of lost the point of, Traveling. traveling cause the, the, the wage has just got so inflated. They're like, Oh man, this is awesome. Cause I get to make all this money and I still get the perks of the, the other perks of traveling. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know, but yeah, I feel like the market was always going to come back. Right. Well, and that's, and you're right. When everybody started, you know, when I, I've met a lot of people that traveled, they started traveling now post COVID or right during COVID right around yeah. those COVID times, you know, the market was the way it was. And so people, jumped into it mm -hmm. and, so they, and they jumped into it because you found out you know how much more money you can make and so money they're like yep. this is a no-brainer i'm gonna just dive in head first and so it's interesting being i was there before covid i was there during covid when they were letting everybody go, go from these yeah. jobs I, mean, I, I was you know i was traveling in an rv at the time and so i saw a lot of nurses that were let go from their travel jobs like i saw a lot of full-time nurses that were let go of their job i saw a lot of sonographers and radiology folks and everybody getting <laughs> let go and i i was one of the folks that got to stay um because i i just changed my shift and you know did some things like that but yeah now that everybody everybody jumped in for the finances and so the people who have jumped in for the traveling and the you know, not having yeah. to deal with the work bs of the politics and things like that we've talked about before those folks might stick around yeah um, but as the money decreases See yeah. the money, the money people who did it just for the money are going to leave and go back to yeah. full time. And they'll you, take I mean, you can, you can quickly tell when people do things for the wrong reasons. I've openly admitted I did medicine for the wrong reasons. So when you do things, money for mm -hmm. money, it, it quickly, it will fade when the money fades, you're going to fade. So the people that did it because they want to travel, they're still going to, they'll, they'll take less mm -hmm. to go to these places because they just wanted to travel instead of right. focus right. on the money. So, right. but it's an interesting We'll mm -hmm. see if we have another segment coming up, but maybe it will, the rates will go back if mm -hmm. COVID or whatever variant yeah. they come up with comes mm -hmm. back. Right. So, well, maybe we'll have an update in, I don't know, three months or so when yeah. winter hits, you know, cause that's mm -hmm. when COVID and those kind of diseases are going to be more popular. Blue and such, yeah. We'll, we'll ask you again to see if the, how what the change. market's like. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm curious on how that's going to change. Be yeah. We think, I'm super curious on, like, I have so many thoughts of how I think it's going to go, um, yeah. but I just, it's, it's a guess. So we'll, we'll see. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's segment. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please like comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.